We're in San Luis Obispo, California, and we're going way back to Quito, Ecuador, because these folks in front of me have roots with HCJB. I have Renee Bravo on the left and Renee Bravo on the right. And uh, <laughs> father, son. So uh, let me ask the son. Uh, I've heard you say that you're here today because of HCJB. John, that's absolutely correct. If it wasn't for the ministry of a dedicated missionary at HCJB, my father would not have become familiar with the saving gospel of Jesus Christ. Um, he eventually became to the United States because of the sponsorship of the missionaries there at Radio at HCJB. Uh, he met my mother in Florida, and I am the consequence of that union. So I can directly trace my existence to the ministry of HCJB also. Well, let me ask the older Renee, how did you come in contact with HCJB to begin with? I have in contact from the beginning of HCJB when I was 20 years old that I, I hit around, I hit a, how do I say, I hit a good reputation of one missionary there. There were 100 or more there, but this particular person was a very, very, very nice and kind. I went to him asking for a favor, and he will do the favor of repairing all radio, my only possession that I have, that we have. And he told me he will fix in two, three, two, three months. I went to pick up the radio, and I told him, I know in anticipation, you are an American, I am an Ecuadorian. You are a Protestant, I am Catholic. I need your services, but I need my radio. How much is gonna cost me this? And he told me, listen, I came to Ecuador to serve the people, not for money. If I wanna make money, I will make money in the United States. That, and then I put a line in the floor, and I said, you don't gonna pass from there to here, and I'm gonna not pass to, to your side. But after he is mine, he told me, I don't come to make money here, I come to serve you. Right in there, I feel the doors open for heaven to me, and I pass the line in his side, and I am where I am because his kindness. And I received the Lord later on, uh, for his suggestions, kindly, not a pushy. I went to his house and said, Mr. Crackler, I want to receive the Lord. And he said, okay, and I bent my knee in his, in, his, in his living room, and I received the Lord, and I am where I am for that until today. And how long ago was that? What year did that happen? This is 1955, 50, 50s to 50, 51, 52. So here we stand in 2011, and uh, you've heard the story. Pretty powerful. The ministry of HCJB, not just over the airwaves, but the one-on-one -on -one relationships.